Hey everybody, Sean here, and I hope you're doing well. And special thanks to Jari for sharing this. This is an encouraging one-minute story that may sound crazy, but I believe is most likely true. I'm going to share with you one of my favorite stories of all time about how God led a woman to stand on her head to save someone's life. Listen to this. So there was a woman who was at a church small group and she really wanted to hear the voice of the Lord. So she said, God, I'm going to take more risks. For the next 30 days, whatever you say to me, if I believe that it's not unethical, immoral, illegal, right? If I think it's the voice of God, I'm going to do it no matter how foolish it is because I want to hear your voice. I want to see you move. So she leaves group and at a red light, she sees a 7-Eleven and she gets a thought, go stand on your head. Well, she says, I don't want to, but she remembers God told her that she would do anything. So she said, okay. So she goes in there, stands on her head, and an employee comes out of the back room screaming and crying. She gets up and she's like, what, what's going on? And the employee said, I was just praying. And I said, God, if you don't send someone in here to stand on their head and show me that you're real, I'm going to kill myself after work tonight. God is amazing. I really do believe God uses people in some of the strangest ways at times when we seek His will and are willing to be obedient regardless of the circumstances. I have a story I was told by one of the ladies that worked in the kitchen of my church in Edmonton. The details may be a bit fuzzy being that it was a long time ago, but this couple were going through some financial problems and the husband was stressed. There was a church outing for that weekend scheduled in the mountains. The husband didn't really want to go because of the stress, but his wife convinced him to do so. During a prayer meeting or something, I can't quite remember, his stress overtook him and he went outside for a walk and to pray. And as he was walking by a payphone, it rang and he picked it up. The person said, hello, is Bob there? The guy was shocked and said, yes, this is Bob. The fellow on the other end said that it may sound strange, but God told him to call that number to help a man financially with the name of Bob. And you can imagine the rest of the story. But the story of the person standing on her head reminded me of that one. We don't need to crave signs and wonders like so many are doing today. We just need to be available and willing to serve God. And I believe that he will use us in ways that we would never dream of. We'll keep it short today, but feel free to share any miracle stories you may have in the comments below. And until next time, take care and God bless.